Hello everyone and welcome to an episode of Invisible Ink. This is that Catholic Gamer dude and we are going to play this game. So, what's it about? Well, it is a... Uh, how best to describe it? It's turn-based stealth tactical game. Um, you know, really? Uh, it's easier just to go ahead and kind of jump into it and I'll kind of explain along the way about what you're trying to accomplish. But first, what game would be complete without a lengthy intro scene? Uh, all right first we got to start a new game we're gonna play the story mode and we're gonna start on beginner because I'm a beginner so um, here we go I'll explain kind of as we're going along what's gonna happen so here we go get to the main server collect the data and get out no detours copy that central proceeding to target Insertion was clean. Alarm level holding steady. We need to get to the third floor. We can make our way to the server room from there. Any chatter on the comms? Negative. It's silent on all frequencies. They should have detected us by now. Receiving They're on to you. Get out. Get out of there! HQ compromised. We're going to need an extraction. I've got incognito. Deckard and International are on their way. Get to the roof. I'll cover you. Go! Decker, how long till extraction? 30 seconds. Get us out of here. We've got work to do. So there you have it. There's our opening. Um, I have just, I've been playing around a little bit with this game. So, but for the most part, I don't have anything unlocked yet. So we're pretty much going right into the middle of this. So you'll get to enjoy me flailing about as I try to kind of figure out what's going on. So here we go. And so this is just describing, yeah, it's 2074. There are all kinds of, now corporations rule the world, which is your standard dystopian thing. And uh, basically what they're describing is, is that this is a game where you're supposed to fail and fail over again. But each time you get better and you get stronger and as you go through multiple playthroughs, eventually you'll be able to beat the game. At least theoretically. We'll see. Operator, are you there? Good. I was afraid you didn't make it out. Headquarters is gone. Most of our agents have been captured or killed and our accounts all frozen. I don't know how the corporations found us, but you can bet they won't give up now that they've had a taste of blood. The Jets' stealth rig should keep us hidden if we keep moving, but Incognita can't survive long on backup power. She's got 72 hours tops. We need to mount a counterattack before then, or we'll be defenseless against their scans. If that happens, we may as well just crash this thing into the ocean. You've never seen the inside of a corporate deprogramming chamber. I won't see the inside of another. Incognita is scanning for targets of opportunity where we can replenish our supplies. Follow her leads and gather what resources you can. I'll run through our contacts and see what favors I can call in. We're going to need all of the advantages we can find in the coming days. All right, so there you go. And this is our crew. Uh, I'll kind of explain as we need these things, uh, so I won't go into them right now. Um, but, uh, so, but this is kind of the standard beginner's setup. So there we go. 
All right, so now on this screen, you can choose. Executives are notoriously yeah, yeah, yeah. slack when it comes to network security, and their terminals are full of interesting information. Blah, blah, blah. We found a lightly guarded executive complex here. Get in, find the computer, and steal their contact list. Then we'll have our pick of future targets. So yeah, so this is basically the first uh, mission that's mandatory, essentially. What you're going to go in there is you're going to try and find the terminal, which will give you more mission locations. And we'll get into why we would do that later but for right now we just have one mission and we're going to infiltrate so here we go infiltration successful bad news operator they caught us completely by surprise so we have no firepower with us the guards weapons are gene coded to their owner and useless to us we're going to have to make do with what we can find along the way. We've beamed you through the security grid. You should be somewhere near the target, but you'll need to look for it. Get the list and find a transport pad to escape. But be quick about it. They noticed a disturbance when we ported in and their alarm level is already rising. Okay, uh, okay. so here we go. So our mission objectives are to locate the executive terminals, uh, to hack, and then get out alive which means that we want to find a transporter pad, which is essentially the level exit. Um, secondary objectives, there are going to be corporate safes located all over the place, and we want to hack those. And that way we get extra credits, which we can use to spend on other things. All right, um, so as you can see, uh, our agents are at the moment, their stealth basically means that if there were any guards like over here looking this way, they would be hidden that moment. And the nice thing about this is that there's a lot of detail to the UI, so you pretty much know exactly what's going on at any point. And each of these, these two characters each have their own powers. I'll kind of demonstrate it right now. This is International. She has the ability to wirelessly hack, and it looks like that actually is the... Uh, that looks like it actually is the actual access terminal, so it's actually right next to us. That could be bad, but we'll see. Um, she also has the ability to hack these terminals remotely, and what these do is that these things give us power, uh, which we can use with Incognito, which is our uh, hacking AI, and as, as she has different powers that we'll be able to use uh, that we'll demonstrate later, but for right now, we're just going to go ahead and hack that real quick. Now the idea is this is turn-based, and we want to be as stealthy as possible, not alerting any guards, not alerting uh, any drones or uh, tripping any security cameras. So here's what we can do. We can move International up here, and this is a doorway. So what we can do is we can peek out through the door, and we can see uh, we don't see any guards or anything like that, which is nice. So we'll open up with the door, and then we will peek again, see if we can find anything else. Um, so that's good. Now we only have a certain amount of AP or action points, so there isn't much we can do right now with her, since she did most of the scouting, but we can move Decker up. And I'm not really sure I want to do that just yet. Um, bu -bu 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 -bu. Yeah, actually, I think for right now I'm going to play this a little conservative. I'm just going to move him up. I'm going to close the door, and then we're going to end our turn. Oh yeah, there's a guard right there, or somewhere around there. Okay, so this is the security level. Each time you end a turn, the security level goes up. And what that means is that the enemy becomes more aware of your presence. And each time it goes up, different things happen. Like at level one, I think on beginner level, nothing happens. And then on level two, dormant cameras start to activate and so on and so forth. Uh, which gives you, that, and that's where the balance comes in because you want to complete as many objectives as possible, but you also want to get out as quickly as possible. So there's that. All right. Now on this turn, I'm going to open this up again with Decker, which costs no AP. Peeking does cost AP, but not uh, opening doors. So there we go, move Decker up. We peek around. We do not see the guard. So we're going to sneak around here, and I'm going to go into an ambush stance. Now basically what that means is that if a guard comes around, and tries to attack us uh, by coming in on this point, we'll be able to surprise and attack them. 
So we'll move international up, and I really should close the door, but I guess it really doesn't matter. You typically want to close the doors that you're leaving. That's a habit I'm still trying to train myself to get into. Um, <clears throat> but for right now, the uh, idea is, is that uh, if any guard come up, hopefully they won't be able to see us. In fact, I really should have planned this out a little bit better, but that's okay. We're going to just kind of hit end turn and hope for the best. There he is. Now, here's the thing. So that's a guard. You can see on this kind of transparency. Let's see if I can move the screen just a little bit. Um, you can see that there are these red and yellow areas. The yellow areas means that they're in the view, but they're hidden. And the red ones mean that uh, the guard is going to spot us. And if he spots us, we have one chance to... If we move in there right now, he's just going to shoot us. But... Um, let's say he moved in and actually did see us, then he would stop at this point and we would have one opportunity to try and take him out. And if we moved uh, without taking him out, he would shoot us. For right now, he can't see us, so this actually gives us a good opportunity. Now, we do have to hack this terminal, so the only thing that we, I think, the only thing we're really going to be able to do, yeah, because he's put, so what I basically did was I just clicked that I thing. And that gives us the ability to see where he's going to go. So you can tell by this path here. So he's just going to patrol back and forth between this terminal. So really, we don't have much of a choice other than to try and take him out. So the question is, how best do we do that? Well, we got a couple of options. Um, both Decker and International Al. This is Decker, by the way. I don't know if I introduced him. They both have this thing called a neural disruptor, which will basically, it's like a taser. It'll disable them for three turns. Uh, more if you pin them, which I'll get into because I'll probably have to do it. Uh, so, but first off, uh, let's take out the guard. Who do I want to do that with? I think I want, let's see. All right, so here's the deal. I want to take this guard out, but I also want to be sure that no other guards are going to come in through these doors once I hack this terminal. So I need to scout ahead and see if there are any guards either in this side or on this side. Because once I hack that terminal, it's probably going to get everybody's attention. So let's see. I am going to use International to take this guy out. That's an executive terminal. It still has a solitaire game up on the screen. Hardy har har. All right, here we go. Okay, uh, let's see. Now, ah, there we go. Okay, I must have had it activated. All right, so here's the option. I can do KO, knock him out, zap. That was probably unpleasant. Now, it's always good to steal whatever the guard has. He's got 90 credits, cha-ching, and a level one security pass card, which basically means that there are uh, there are doors, security doors. Uh, these regular doors can just be opened, but there are some doors that require a security level. Now, what I'm gonna do with Decker, before I hack this terminal, I'm gonna go run up, and I'm gonna peek through to see. All right, so the good news is, it looks like that that is an empty room. Excellent. So now the only room that's left is to take this one, which we'll check on the next turn. Now, here's the thing that I mentioned earlier about pinning. What this basically does is that if you have one of your units on top of the enemy, uh, see this little counter right here? This is means that he would typically be down for three turns, but because Internatal is on top of him, he's pinned. So it'll basically stay that way until she moves off of him, which eventually we'll have to do in order to get out of here. But for right now, we can just sit on top of him and everything's cool. Here's hoping anyway. Okay. So, next up. Um, you know, actually... I may just want to hack this. Let's see if we can. Can we move in range? 
There we go. All right. Now, typically for hacking, you need to be adjacent to the thing you want to hack, but International has this augmentation, which is kind of like a power up. And her ability is to be able to hack things at a distance. So that's what we're going to do. We hack these terminals and we get power. Yay. All right. Now here's the cool part. We're going to use Decker. We're going to go in. And this thing is a corporate safe. We're going to wait until the last minute to, uh, as, or I'm sorry, wait as long as we can to hack this terminal because we'll probably set something off. But for right now, we'll just hack a corporate safe. And here's how we do that. First, Decker's going to run up. Now, he can't do this because you need to unlock the door with Incognita, which is your AI. So what we do is we press the spacebar. Check this out. Now, these are hackable things. And in you're looking at this through the eyes of Incognita, which is the AI construct. She has special abilities. Um, this one is she gets one power per turn. And this lockpick 1.0, which means it's two power to break one firewall. In this case, there's only one firewall on this corporate safe. So we click on that. We spent two power. Now we have access. Decker now has access to the safe. And you can hack this not just for safes or for terminals, but you use that a lot for like security cameras and other things like that. So we open up the safe. We're in the money. All right. So now with that, we're going to move International back on top of our uh, poor pinned guard. I'm going to end the turn. I want to start speeding things up because, as you can tell, our security level is already at zero. Or it's, it's at zero, but this counter is going up. So when this fills up, it's going to go to one. Uh, I think a beginner, it doesn't do anything. But we don't want, we want to be as efficient as possible. So once again, Decker is going to look out there. He does not see anything, so we're going to open that up. Gonna peek again. All right, so we see a couple of doors going this way. This is a alarm system. Let's see here. Don't see a terminal with which we can deactivate that. So I'm thinking we will just close the door for now. And we will move Decker back over here. And then we're just gonna call call it for right now. Uh, no, actually, since we know the only way the guards can patrol through is in here, I'm gonna put Decker on ambush. Yes. And we are going to hack the access terminal. Have international run up and use the terminal. Now she grabs the site list. You've got the site list. They noticed you poking about and have changed up their patrols. Be careful on your way out. All right. So there you go. Now we're gonna move out of the way, and we can't quite get back to the guard, so he's gonna go down a turn, which kind of stinks. But that should be all right. All right. Now we've gone up the alarm level uh, so but it doesn't look like there are any effects that kick in just yet so that's good news all right oh there's our security terminal okay so here's what this is this is the power supply it's powering up this grid right here so we can hack it that deactivates it Voila. Okay, now do we want to press our luck? I don't think so. We're gonna, okay, I'm sorry. What I'm doing now is that I am dragging the body. I'm gonna try and move him as long as possible. I basically want to hold onto the guard for as long as I can and keep him pinned. And I can do that by just holding on to him perpetually. All right, so there's definitely another guard patrolling somewhere down there. And I need to figure out where. So I'm gonna move Decker up. 
Hack the safe. Steal some credits. Move Decker back. We can peek around here. Still don't see that guard. I'm wondering if this is just one long hallway. In any event, we're gonna set our ambush. I'm gonna move international there and end the turn. Ooh, okay, so there's our guard. As you can see, we've got sight on that. So we need to think about how we're going to deal with that. So we're gonna drop the body here. Uh, do we want to? See, we have the option, we can use the Neural Disruptor to tag him again, which will reset this count to three. Or we can move Decker up. Yeah, I don't know exactly how that's gonna work out. Uh, but if I use that, uh, if I try to use the counter, then I won't be able to use International. So, what I do is I move up, close this door. Did you see that? And then, Use ambush. Yeah, I probably should have planned that out a little bit better. Because here's what's going to happen. He's going to come in and investigate that. She's going to tag him. And then Decker is going to have to repin him. Unfortunately, I don't know if I can do that. Oh, uh, this is tough. All right. Well, let's see how this pans out. Hello? Zap. See, now that was ambush. And it's pretty self-explanatory. All right, so there's pin. So I've moved over to pin them. Let's see. Bring Decker back over here. Go steal his ships and the level one security card. Awesome. All right. Uh, unfortunately, I think we need to burn a turn just to refill the AP, and then we could probably sprint over to this location. We, at some point we need to get at these two doors. Problem is right now is that we already have two guards pinned. So that's gonna be a problem. All right. Burn that turn. <gasps> oh, dang it. I did not mean to pick that up. Let's drop the body. Good. Whew. All right. Problem is that people are a little close together now. All right. Let's see, first off, um, we're going to use the sprint ability, but it makes a lot of noise. Uh, da, 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 da. Yeah, let's do it. All right, so International has picked up a security camera. And it's not act. Oh, sorry. This is <laughs> kind of lost my train of thought. It's a security camera. It's not active. It will start to activate at security level two. So, what does that mean? That means we'll still be able to hack it though, because we've got the power to do it. Uh, and actually, that might be a better idea to just wait till that comes online, because then we'll be able to see in this area, and that'll give us some free scouting. So for right now, what I'm going to do with Decker is just reload the counter on this poor schnook. Zap. Move over here. Close the door. And then move up. And then we're going to end our turn. So we have two more turns before those guys wake up, essentially. Now we're going to have additional cameras activate at security level two. And so we're going to use Incognita to hack the camera. Now, it's not going to activate just yet. 
All right, so we've come to this location. We can peek in here and we can see that we have a couple of level one security doors, but that's okay because we have level one security cards. Moving international up, that is a nano fabricator. Now those nano fabricators, you can purchase items from these things. Um, we may or may not want to do that. Uh, we'll kind of defer that decision for a moment. Let's peek through here. We've got another corporate safe and another two doors. Have not seen any guards yet. It's interesting how you can't get to that door through here because this thing is looks like it's blocking. It's hard to say. Let's open the door. Ah, so there's a door here. Okay, so you can get around that way, and there are two more doors. Hmm. I say we move up. First, close the door. All right, hack corporates. Do we want to hack the corporate safe? Hmm. There's another terminal. Yeah, we might as well hack the corporate safe now. And the nanofiber. Fabricator. There we go. Open up. Move in. And now we've secured... We know what's in this door because it's just easy here. So now we're just going to move up here. And hide. And turn. All right. So this is definitely detecting something. It's being watched. We don't know by what just yet. So we're gonna move international up. Ah, uh, it's another security camera. It's actually pretty good, which means we can hack that. Rock on. And while we're at it, we'll hack this terminal and hack this safe. Now Decker can move up and use this nano fabricator. And let's see if we got that drilling dart. Uh, augments. Uh, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Give me a sec. Wow, it gains 6 AP after a melee attack. That sounds really good. Um, I'm totally buying that. Darn tootin'. Uh, med gel. One time use revives a dying agent. Charge pack. Uh, let's... That was worth it, I think. But we're gonna defer on those. And the reason why... Well, let me explain why. You can carry these... Em you can carry items in these empty slots, but you'll be encumbered, which means you lose one AP for each extra item that you have. So that means that's just less you can do because you're weighted down. So we're gonna move up here. I'm gonna peek through here. It's another security camera. I'm gonna hack that puppy. And yeah, let's go ahead and unlock the door. I'm gonna open her up. I'm going to peek. And we really want to start getting move on because that internal clock is counting down. All right. I'm gonna hack that console. We only got two AP left. We really can't move anywhere else without being spotted. And those guys are gonna come back, I think, next turn. Okay. I'm gonna move up. See another security camera and another corporate safe. see another security camera and that's our exit this is the transporter pad all right so now we know where to go so the question is what is Decker looking at I'm gonna go peek he sees with his little eye a scanner and a safe I'm gonna hack the safe Alright. 
credits? Ooh. What is a buster chip? Uh, manually break through two firewalls. Ah, uh, you know, at this level, I've I've only played through this a couple of times, and by play through, I mean played a couple of missions. I've never really been hurting for power, which is what this basically would be would help with, which is basically means it gives you it busts through two firewalls for three for free. I just don't really need it, so we're gonna move on. I'm gonna move up here, hack this thing for three power. Thank you, Decker. And we'll call that. Oh, there's a guard there. All right. Let's poke our head through here real quick. That is... That is a armored elevator. Oops, hit the camera there, uh, the microphone. All right, so here's the deal. Once this gets up to level three, I think guards start spawning in, which means that guards are gonna come out of here. So we wanna get out of here, stat. All right, let's book it. Uh, in this case, I'm not sure. I think what we'll do is we'll just kind of let that guard patrol. Let's get our hands on some cash. Ka-ching! And that's it. Now I think those guards are going to start activating soon. It's weird. I haven't heard those guards yet. Let's see, if I dash, I can get up to here, which I think I'm going to do. All right. Uh, International is just going to come back through here, close the door, come back up, rocking. Okay. So. All right, so basically, I was wrong. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so here's what happens. Uh, the firewall upgrades basically means all the stuff that could be hacked now gets upgraded an extra um, firewall that we have to hack through. But I think we've hacked just through just about everything. All right. So with that in mind, but that's okay, because we're pretty much done with this mission. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to sneak up on this poor guard. Zappity zap. Pick his pocket for his change. Turn on sprint. And book it. Close the door. End the turn. And get to our transporter pad. And call it a day. Contactless will prove invaluable when planning our next move. Excellent work. All right, so here's our mission status report. Uh, basically, what it says is that all three guards were alerted because basically we pumped them full of electricity and you have a tendency to wake up when that happens. Uh, we've hacked every... Uh, device including all the corporate safes, which means we didn't miss out on any cash, which is good. Uh, power supply, da da da. We got ourselves a predictive brawling augment, uh, which is nice. Uh, we stole 280 credits. No, uh, oh, yes, we stole them from the guards. This is what we got from safes, and this is what we spent. This is our total net worth. I'm not quite sure what that is. I'm going to have to go look that up. But there you go. Now, this is our upgrade screen where you can buy all kinds of new cool abilities. You can't get anything for your AI just yet. But, let's see. What do we want to upgrade just yet? What do we want to do? What do we want to do? International. I want her to have some speed because if you noticed, Decker had 9 AP because he was um, upgraded. 
And I want International to have the same thing, so that they basically have the same level, speed level. Uh, and I think for right now, I'm just going to leave that as it is. I've re-established contact with Monster. His network picked up the attack just before it hit us, and we're working to trace it back to the source. In the meantime, he's offered to sell us some of his more rarefied stock. Greetings. I don't often perform transactions face to face, but Gladstone is an old friend. I'll contact you when anything becomes available. Thank you, Monster. If we find their central server, we may be able to bring them down, or at least distract them long enough that they lose our trail. Continue scavenging operations, and I'll keep you posted as more intel develops. Alright, well that's it for right now. As you can see, we got some more missions spawning, but we'll cover them later on. Alright, thank you for joining me. This has been that Catholic Gamer Dude playing Invisible Ink, and I'll see you next time.